This is Sam Diep with AZ Billiards Daily Buzz, brought to you by Simonis Cloth. The excitement is building at the 35th annual U.S. Open Nine Ball Championships here in Chesapeake, Virginia. We have a full field of 256 players representing 24 countries. In this first year where women are invited to play in this event, we have 15 women in the draw. We'll have more on that and all your AccuStats highlights starting right now. In an early round upset, Mike DeShane of Providence, Rhode Island served the past champion Shane Van Boning his first loss. The recent Empire State champion dominated the match with a final score of 11-3. Right out of the gate, the South Dakota kid broke and scratched. Friends and commentators all noticed Van Boning seeming very distracted throughout the match with unexpected misses and poorly executed safeties. A combination on the nine ball got the score to five to three. Unfortunately, Van Boning's efforts were not enough. DeShane returned with some table runs and a nine ball break, claiming the next eight games to close out the match. Play continued with two close evening matches. First up was the hitman Torsten Homan against Hennessy Jonathan Pinniger. Both players displayed some unusual misses and critical errors. In game 14, Pinniger missed a touchy nine ball to go up nine to five. Instead, he allowed Homan the opportunity to capitalize on the next couple racks. At 10 to eight, Pinniger couldn't seem to close out that set, missing yet another nine ball, leaving Homan our Simona shot of the day. This long rail bank shot is tough enough on its own without the pressure of your opponent being on the hill. Once he fired it in, the German followed up with a nine ball break and a break and run, starting with a confident cross side bank on the two ball. And that was all she wrote. The final match of the evening between Sean Putnam and this year's Hall of Fame inductee Francisco Bustamante had fans captivated as they took it to the hill. Putnam jumped to a nice 4-1 lead before making his first error, scratching on the break. This would ultimately give Boosty an opportunity to claw his way back. With the momentum on his side, the score was then tied 5-5. At 6-5, Putnam broke and opted to push out to a jump shot. This is one of his fortes. Unfortunately, the one ball and the cue ball were both jumped off the table giving Bustamante a chance to take that rack with ball in hand. We saw very few break and runs as both players seemed to be having trouble keeping the cue ball on the table after the break. At eight to eight, a kicked in four ball gave Boosty a lead for the first time in the match. Putnam, however, was not going down without a fight. At 10 to nine, Bustamante, Putnam missed an aggressive five ball that made commentators question his decision. That careless error would lead to his eventual loss at 11 to 9. And this concludes today's highlights. We'll have more for you all week at azbilliards.com. In Chesapeake, AZ Billiards Daily Buzz, Sam Diep. Promotional consideration by Simona's Cloth, Tap Pool League, Lakazi Hybrid. Footage courtesy of AccuStats.